I guess to me, an experience, you know, I've lived on this bayou my whole life, so I've tasted different fish from here and there, and our fish have, has always tasted better to me. And, and you know, from, not from my, only ex my own experience, but I've, I've also cooked a lot of fish for people from out of state, from different states, all around, all around the country and even out, out of the world. And they'll come and they'll say, you know, man, this is the best catfish we've ever ate. I've eaten, cat, you know, I've eaten catfish here, there. Uh, you know, why is it so good? Is it the way I cooked it, or is it the, is it the way it, you know? Is it the water the fish is coming out of? Well, to me, it's a combination of both. But you know, it really is where the fish are coming from. Um, this area just is it's known for the, um, the, the the quality of the fish. Uh, what's great about this fish is it's a natural fish and a natural tidal body, so it's a nice, clean, fresh type of fish. Um, you'll notice a little yellow tint to it. It's a very sustainable fish. Um, people have been harvesting it in the bayous and the swamps of the Zalman's for the last couple hundred years. Like I said, that, that's two of my fishermen right across right there. Uh, they got a couple down this side. They got a couple back there. I would say percentage-wise, one out of every 10 houses. Uh, I'm, maybe the Zalman's one out of every 10, maybe a little less, maybe one out of 15. So um, growing up in River Parish area for the last 40 some years, um, my grandmother taught me a lot. She was actually born on the river in Vachery and um, just learned about the abundance of the natural resources of the um, shrimp, the crab meat, the crawfish, the catfish, the alligator, turtles. Um, we eat it all here and, um, and it, it's a natural product that is um, we call it sweet water. It's a combination of between brackish and fresh water. And to me, it produces some of the best seafood that I've tasted anywhere. A lot of the family fish, as a family, they'll fish. They'll fish, the kids will uh, help them run the boats in the summer when they're off of school. The kids go on the weekends with them. You're supporting like a, a lifestyle, like a, 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 you're supporting like a tradition. Most, almost any commercial fisherman, you gotta have a lot of Cajun in you and you gotta, you gotta be adapt to your surroundings, to the water. You gotta be a waterman. You gotta, you gotta know that water just like you know uh, in the roads or like a taxi guy driver knows roads through New Orleans. You know, you gotta know the roads of the bayou and where it's too shallow to pass or, or where they got obstructions at. And you gotta know how to travel out at night with, with, no, with no lights and in the fog. I, I enjoy it. I really do, you know, I enjoy catfishing. It means to me, freedom to do, to be my own boss and to kind of do what I want to do, you know. You know, you, you got, it's, it, don't get me wrong, it's not easy. You, you can't, you got to go out there and make it yourself, you know. You, you can't just go out there and, and, and be lazy. But um, it's something I love to do, it's something I was raised doing, it's something I'm going to die doing. Um, you know, I, most of my children I have, I've raised and they're in college, they're doing different things, but I'm hoping on a grandchild to teach and take over what I'm doing, something like that. It's a pretty hard job for these guys, and, uh, and they, they deal with the elements, the weather, cold, thunderstorms, storms themselves, uh, hurricanes. It's not an easy job. And you got to realize some days when they go out there and they throw cages, they throw their crab traps, or they go move cages, they don't get paid that day, they lose money. They pay for a decade, they pay for gas, they pay for all the stuff and they don't catch nothing. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to come and sell. The best thing to do when you do go to a restaurant um, in Louisiana is to, you can either ask or you can look on the menu. And most will tell you, it will say the Zalman's catfish or it'll say pond catfish or, you know. And, and if you can try to ask for or go to restaurants that serve uh, wild caught catfish, it helps out the, the last um, fisherman that we have, you know, which we're, you know, like I said, we're we're dying out slowly, but we still got a few of us left here, and um, you know, it, it uh, we want to stay if we can, and you know, it this it, it it also takes help from the people to buy our produce to keep us going. So yes, definitely look for fresh desalmonds, uh catfish fillet on the menu, and uh, go to those places and eat there, and it'll help us out.